Subscribe for daily boxing videos, guys. This guy Wilder, he talks about I'm willing to fight anybody. I'll fight them all. Have you ever made an offer or a serious offer to Joseph Parker, another world champion? He says he wants all the belts. He wants the one champion. Did he make an offer to Joseph Parker? No. Have you ever made a serious offer to Vladimir Klitschko when he had the belt or Tyson Fury? No. You haven't. Have you ever made an offer to us to fight Anthony Joshua? No. So how serious can you be and how keen to unify this division if haven't even made an, any serious or considerable offers to the champions? Can't be that serious. And we could make the Joshua fight with a snap of a finger against Wilder if he was just serious or if he was, you know, sensible. But we're doing our thing. We're going for a belt and then we're one away. And hopefully, listen, Ortiz might be it. I don't think Ortiz wins, but that at least is the first time that Wilder's been in a proper fight. So that is what promoter Eddie Hearn had to say about WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder. He says some interesting things here. He says, first of all, I'll quote his last quote. He says that he believes Deontay Wilder's fight versus Ortiz is his first proper fight. And I agree with Eddie Hearn. I believe that. I believe Deontay Wilder should have fought someone like Ortiz maybe in his 25th fight. But, you know, he waited a long time. He also said... Um, something interesting that I also agree with. He said, how serious, he questions how serious Deontay Wilder is to be, to unify. He says, when Vladimir Klitschko was the champion, was he pursuing Vladimir Klitschko? And the answer is no. He says, when Tyson Fury was the champion, did he unify with Tyson Fury? No. He says, when, and, and he says right now, Anthony Joshua was the champion. Has he unified with Anthony Joshua? Or Joseph Parker, no. Anthony Joshua has been doing these stuff, though. Now, again, Deontay Wilder has called out Joseph Parker. He did call out Joseph Parker. He has been calling out Anthony Joshua. But for, but for some reason or another, they didn't fight. Now, one thing I will say is, when Vladimir Klitschko was champion, Deontay Wilder wasn't keen to fight him. I remember back in 2013, uh, when Vladimir Klitschko was champion... And Deontay Wilder, you know, his team, him and his team were saying that, well, we need to prepare Wilder. And back then, for someone like Vladimir Klitschko, if you remember that, back then Wilder had like, what was it, 31 plus fights? And I remember even up to when, I remember when Wilder fought Johan Duopas back in September of 2015. Back then, Vladimir Klitschko was still the champion. And back then, they were talking about that. Well, Vladimir, where this is this opponent, they picked D Johan Duopas because he's going to help uh, Deontay Wilder because he, he kind of relates to Vladimir Klitschko because I guess he's the same height as because he was he's like 6'6, six, six, he's the same height. So, as far back as 2015, they were still not in, getting in the ring with uh, somebody like Vladimir Klitschko. Again, at the end of the day, you can't use this excuse that every heavyweight is was ducking in because every time uh, I make videos talking about that, how come Wilder has waited so long to step up in, in competition or to step his competition up, I should say. His fans always tell me the same thing. Well, it's because everybody was ducking him. You know, and they said, well, Joseph Parker, Vladimir Klitschko, Anthony Joshua were ducking him. But it's like, oh, okay, so they were they were ducking him. But how how about his first twenty not five fights? How about why was he fighting a guy with fifty nine losses back in twenty twelve, back in twenty thirteen, back in twenty eleven when he had like twenty five plus fights? Why was he fighting a guy in that level? Why did it take him so long? You know, like I remember because that whenever um Deontay Wilder fans talk about defending Wilder's record, they always say, well. Joshua Parker and Vladimir Klitschko all ducked uh, Deontay Wilder. Uh, that's why he didn't fight them. But it's like, okay, you're using that excuse for these four guys. But how about five years ago? How about four years ago before Anthony Joshua was around? Before Joseph Parker was around? 
when Vladimir Klitschko was the top dog, when guys like Brian Jennings were around, when guys like Brian Jennings was calling out Deontay Wilder. Brian Jennings was calling out Deontay Wilder back in 2013. You know, how, how come back in 2011, 2012, 2013, why was he fighting such obscure level opposition when he could have been fighting at least better opposition, maybe like a Mike Perez, a, 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 a uh, yeah, Mike Perez, a Brian Jennings, guys of these level at least. Why was he fighting guys like Ollie Harrison, who were washed up beyond belief? Why was he fighting guys like uh, these guys that had like ten? You know, this guy fought guys in his thirty fight. He was fighting guys with ten losses in the record. Nikolai Furfa had ten losses when he fought him. That's that's pathetic. And and Deontay Wilder was that was his thirtieth professional fight. You are supposed to be fighting someone like Nikolai Furfa in your fifteenth fight, tenth fight. It's ridiculous, man. But yeah, that's what Eddie Hearn had to say about Deontay Wilder. He doesn't think Deontay Wilder's serious. And I can't blame him because Deontay Wilder wasn't serious. Is a guy who doesn't seem like he cares about his legacy. And in my opinion, I believe he ducked Vladimir Klitschko. And I believe that I wouldn't be... Sh I shouldn't say I believe. I sh I what I'm going to say is I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets called off with him and Luis Ortiz in the future. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Let me know what you guys think of this video. And if you watched the video from start to finish, I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for daily boxing videos, guys. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm out.